What's up, Hoop Fam? This is one of the most recognized university hand signals on the planet. When you see this, mostly everybody knows what this is. But in some parts of the state of Texas and other states, this is also one of the most hated college sports symbols on the planet. This is my hood. This is the University of Texas. This is where I won a national championship. This is my hood. I get it. We love it. They hate it, right? Y'all, this is about trash talking. This video is about trash talking. I am a proud Texas alum. I, I put my hookums up. I put my horns up all the time. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, at the Texas OU game, big rivalry game between the University of Texas and the University of Oklahoma, this is all I saw. Oh, we were in close quarters, literally. We go to the concession stand together. We go to the, to the restroom together. We are literally split down the middle of a 100,000-plus seating seated stadium crimson on that side burn orange on this side it is something to behold some of y'all are part of rivalries right auburn and i can't remember who usc and ucla we know the big rivalries and if you are privy to one of those and you know ain't no love lost ain't no love ever lost trash talking in full effect 24 7 believe that because that's just the way it is, y'all. How much fun would it be if when we lost, the Oklahoma Sooners came through Fair Park, which is where we were in Dallas, saying, nice, nice job, Horns. <sighs> Wonderful outing, Longhorns. It was an honor to share the field with you for four hours. Uh, very happy that we came away with the win, Longhorns. That's not fun. It ain't fun until you can do this and this. It ain't fun. So those of y'all that are in your feels about trash talking, stop it. Stop it. It's not sports if we're not talking trash. Now, rules, I got some rules. As long as you're not invading my space, you're not coming into within, you know, six or eight feet, whatever, I don't know if the six or eight inches, it would, we cool. As long as you're not doing physical, posing a physical threat to me, I don't care how much you do this. I don't care what you say about the horns. I don't care what you put on t-shirts. That's part of the theater. That's part of the, 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 the drama. That's part of the, the, what do you call it? The rivalry. That's also part of the, um, pageantry of sports y'all. So get out of your feels. Get out of your feels because the Las Vegas Aces talking a little trash. The 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 um New York Liberty did this. Who cares? If they don't do that, how do we know? How do we not know that how do we not know that they're proud of what they've done? It's part of the game, y'all. Get out of your feels. Nobody's posing a threat to you. Nobody's going to shut your favorite team down. Your team will be back next season. Your college team will be back. Another opportunity to get to the final four. Your WNBA team, another opportunity to get to the finals. But we are a little disingenuous when we are being very self-righteous about how the other team chooses to express their disrespect and how this team chooses to express their disrespect. It's all a part of pageantry, rivalry, the theater, of competition and if you don't like it you should probably not watch sports it's why the ratings are booming it's why there's passion and commitment and joy and pain it's all a part of it stop trying to have the joy without the pain you're going to experience some pain no pain no gain you go you're going to experience some pain right and you got to be able to say, hey, my team was not the best team today. I got to be able to say, my Longhorns drove me crazy Saturday against the University of Houston. We beat them, but it was not our finest hour. 
I'm not in my fields. I see clearly. I see clearly about my longhorns. And when their behavior is not the way I want it to be, I'm going to say we were not our best today. And when we good, I'm going to be like, horns up. It's the same thing with the with the spot with the sparks. No, with the the aces and the liberty. Liberty stunk up the place. Nobody's nobody's debating that. So why why shouldn't people say it? they stuck up the place? Just like the aces stuck up their place in game what was it game three? Stunk it up. It's part of the game, y'all. It is part of the game. Trash talking is here to stay. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. I don't think the Aces have been any more disrespectful than the Liberty, and I don't think the Liberty have been any more disrespectful than the Aces. They've both expressed their love for their team and their city. And I'm going to tell you this right now. It would be boring if people weren't proud of what they represent. I'm glad Sabrina Ionescu did that. How do we know it wasn't all planned? How do we know that it wasn't all planned? Sometimes y'all, sometimes y'all don't know what's happening. Most of the time y'all don't know what's happening behind the scenes in these games. How do we know Sabrina didn't do that on purpose so that Sydney could do what she did? We don't know that. But either way, it's all a part of the game. I don't want the game without it. I don't want the game without it. I got several experiences as a college athlete when teams beat us, knocked us out, and then we came back the next year and beat them. When we beat Cheryl Miller and Cynthia Cooper in my championship game my senior year, like nobody was talking real shit, but uh, <laughs> the looks were there. The, the like, yeah, yeah, y'all might have the best player, but yeah, yeah, we got the best team. Like that, that's how it is. And I don't want the game without that. I don't want the game without that. But you know what? Tell me what you think. What is it that you wish were different in our game? What do you want to what do you want to, to be different in our game? And more importantly, what really bugs you? Like there's no right or wrong. I mean, as long as we're not being disrespectful to each other, I want I want your honest opinion. What bugs you about our game? Comment. Hit me with the comments down there, y'all. Thanks for indulging me, but come on, y'all. Get out of your fields. Let's have some fun. Let's get ready for college basketball season, and I will see you in the next video.